Hey guys, this is my full review of uh, the Alliance ROM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, this is a very nice alternative to something like Jedi ROM or Clean ROM. And if you guys like the minimalistic kind of look, then you guys will definitely like this ROM. But it does come with a lot of problems. I'll kind of cover those farther throughout the review. But so you see, go away, XDA. See, we are based on Android 4.1.2. Now, I did flash the Note 2 core kernel. That's also on XDA. It's under the original development thread, in case you're wondering. I'm not going to pro provide a link for that because I'm not reviewing that kernel. But So you see, you have the stock S Pen settings. You have the motion settings. You have basically all the stock options that I'm not going to cover in this review because they're all TouchWiz settings. If you guys want to see that, check out my full review of the phone or any other TouchWiz type of ROM. But I am going to go under lock screen mods because I think this is a really neat feature. Now, he did just re release a patch, the dev, to fix the lock screen rotation issue, which I have not applied yet, but I, I have applied the earlier fix from yesterday that fixes a few issues. So. so, if we go under select lock screen, you see we have the Galaxy S3 Ripple, which you guys guessed it, is the stock Galaxy S3 Ripple. We have the BlackBerry 10 which I know you guys are kind of bashing BlackBerry right now for their press conference. But I think it's a pretty neat lock screen. I mean, you just swipe up and it unlocks. No issues, really. Jelly Bean. Can't really see it, but you have the, you know, where you can go to messaging, Google Now, calling, and also camera on that side. So they don't let you choose your shortcuts, which I think kind of sucks a little bit, but and we have the Optimix 4X, which if you guys checked out my Jelly Bam 4.1 review, you'll see this is familiar. We got the little circles going on. And we have Acer, which honestly I have never seen this lock screen before. I've never seen on any Acer tablet or anything, but you just swipe. And it does some blind type thing, which is actually pretty neat. But again, I've never seen it. If you guys know what device this is off of, can you leave a comment? Because I'm kind of wondering. And of course you have your lock screen torch. You, can, you have your little ripple effect which is for the Galaxy S3 I believe. But for the lock screen torch you just press and hold home. It was working earlier. Okay. Alright. So you, you can just press. <laughs> Alright it's, it's going to fail on camera. But it, it does work. I've seen it work. You can long press to skip your songs with the volume buttons for back and forth of course. And you can use those sounds if you don't want to use the sounds because they annoy you. You know, the option is always there to disable it. And under UI mods, this is where this is why I actually chose this ROM. Because in AOKP, I love how you can have the day, you know, the time, and the AM, PM. I love having it in the center. So if you're under clock options, you can choose your color. Of course, I have mine set to transparent. You have your drop down color. So if you want that as transparent as well, you know, set that as transparent. Drop down date color clock style, AM PM style, which I have mine in center of course, Cent century, okay, and I have the small AM PM, and of course I have day of the week, and that's what it looks like, see up there, you can change the color of it, but I, it matches the theme with the black and white, so I think it looks pretty good, and also you can change your battery too by the way, see I have the circle mod, you can, this is where you customize your toggles of course, you can choose the number and order, brightness slider. <laughs> Torch is coming away. That's the brightness slider though. And you can choose the toggles color, so if you don't like the default color, which is the black and white kind of look, I think it looks pretty nice and clean. And it still saves battery because it's not using colors, and this is an AMO LED display, so, you know. You can choose to disable the text. See, I have Wi Fi, you know, it just, it's small things. But just a few of the um, toggles that I have. Where did the clock go? I think I changed the color of it. Um, <laughs> Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, just a few things that I use. Flashlight was working earlier. It's failing for me on video because it just doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, this is a beta ROM, so I guess we'll just leave it at that. Now, this ROM has logged up on me five times today where I've had to pull my battery, so 
if you're not one that wants to deploy your battery every two hours, you, you don't want to use this ROM. And also, you notice that nothing is there. So you, you have to get like a text or any type of notification in order for your stuff to come back. So have your friend text you, have your mom text you if you don't have friends. <laughs> Whichever makes you feel better about yourself. But with the Note 2 Core Kernel, I find this is very smooth. Battery life is decent. I mean, this is a beta ROM. The camera has been buggy for me. I get an issue where it can't connect the camera. See, camera failed, and I don't know why. This is TouchWiz based. I mean, come on, TouchWiz based. Camera always works on those ROMs. Um, but yeah, pretty much smooth ROM. It comes with the you know the stock apps, nothing much. But again, it is beta, so if you don't like a few bugs where it force closes anytime you, you restart your device, you're gonna have to do a battery pull. But I do really like the boot animation. I'm not going to hit restart because it won't turn back on. But let me power it off. And this is, I hate to say it, but I, this is like the best feature of this entire ROM is the boot animation. And I'm going to have to do a battery pull. God dang it. Maybe it'll turn off. Maybe it'll turn off. Is it? Yeah, so I'm going to have to do a battery pull. Oh, no, no, I think it's turning off. All right, nice. It only took two minutes longer than it should have. Let's press the power button and check out this awesome boot animation. And if you guys want me to review any ROM that you like, just leave a comment below of what ROM it is, and I will check it out. Awesome boot animation. But I'm honest, I'm, I can honestly say I'm not sticking on this ROM. I mean, it is a nice ROM. It has nice features. That's actually the first time it booted up without me having to do a battery pull today. But it's beta. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna wait a few weeks for it to you know get the bugs ironed out and everything. See our status bar is transparent, so it's back. And yes, it is in airplane mode because my SIM card is in my Galaxy S3, of course. But if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see any more videos on this phone, Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus. Hoping to be, to be getting a Nexus 4 soon. Just subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.